The wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of Pandora's box lay before him, and at once Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours! The sky split apart, and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. <laughs>